Okay, this will be an interesting one. A bit challenging, but let's see how we go with it. I wonder how big we're going to make it. Horizontally, it's going to be 260 by 240 vertically. Let's see how we go with this. Going to make it a little bit more contrasty. Gonna leave it there for some reason. Don't know how this is gonna look. And my tap stripping, folks, how annoying. Let's see how we go with this. Let's see what we have. We have here Isabel Carmody, Carmody, Ober, Ober Win. Uber Newton, whatever that fuck, I don't understand that. Anyway, it's all a stupid little um, novel, so I don't understand all this shit that they put in these fucking novels. Anyway, let's just put it on the glass and see what we can do with it. Now we're just going to line that up there. Oops, I'm too far away from the edge. So I'm just going to lift it up again, see where the lettering is. If it's away from the edge, slide it up a bit. Folks, just like so. Sorry about the poor camera work, folks. Trying my best to present something good. So I got that lined up, and now we're just gonna take a picture so we can go and make this an interesting. Okay, out it comes. Let's see what's any if it's any good. It looks nice, but it's too. We we've got the uh, we still need more enlargement. We've got this ugly writing. We don't want that. We want the cat's eye. Uh, I think we got that the right size. Uh, trying to think. We've got to make it much bigger, and it's still too small. So we're going to. Do some work on it. So I'm just checking the edge there. That's all right. We're just going to enlarge this a lot bigger. So we're going to make this 280, and the vertical it's got to be much bigger. 280. We're going 280 by 280. Let's see how that goes, and maybe. She looks a bit too green. Uh, wondering if maybe I could pull it down a bit just to show more of the cat. So we just slide it down ever so slightly, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go here and maybe lighten it off a bit. So we're just gonna lighten it off just a tad, and let's see how we go. Let's see how that looks. So 280 by 280. I don't know if that's going to work, but let's see if we can make it work. It looks almost there. The cat's eye is down there. We can just see some of the writing at the top. We're going to slide it down a little bit further so we can show more of the cat and try to get rid of that little strip but that looks really nice so I'm thinking we're just going to slightly slightly pull it down so we can get rid of the the writing and also show more of the cat hopefully we haven't pulled it down too far that we end up showing the writing at the bottom which we don't want either it's not easy doing this, folks. Let's see if we've improved on it. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better now. We still got a bit of the writing, but that's all right. That looks just fine. Uh, I'm thinking where the centre of this page is going to be. It's going to be the cat. That's pretty logical, I do think. So now we're just going to print it off. But yeah, that's an interesting novel cover. Uh, I don't don't know what 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 I don't understand a lot of the titles on some novels like this, like Oban Ober Winton or whatever it's called. I don't like much fiction anyway. I'm not a fiction person as a general rule. I much prefer to read about facts uh, rather than fiction. But then one day I'm going to become a scientist and a CEO. So basically I don't have time for fantasy and I'm going to be with someone I really, really love and that's going to take away any desire for me to read read any fiction. I don't, I don't even like romantic novels anymore and even when I did like romantic stories, I, never re I could never find any that I could truly relate to. Oh, when, I was, when I was young, I did. There was one book that I liked because uh, I could relate to it. It was a more literal meaning rather than a metaphor. And it was almost, it was partly a metaphor and partly not. It had meaning and I liked it. But the rest of the books I've seen are just boring. I don't, I don't like Mills and Boone. Uh, Mills and Boone, you know, who, who knows Mills and Boone? I think most people in my era remember Mills and Boone. They were like a really well-known, um, somewhat trashy uh, company that made rom that were romance novels like Mills and Boone. I think most of us from that era know what Mills and Boone is. Probably the younger generation probably don't know, but Mills and Boone were like a really big publishing I think they were like a publishing house that produced these romantic novels and they were called and the company was called Mills and Boone but anyway sorry about the curling folks <laughs> that's a bit of a pain but I think now we can call this demo quits